Hallelujah. Oh, somebody say it's, it's working for my good. It's working for my good. Hallelujah. I don't understand it always, but it's working yes. for my good. It's working for my I good. I can't explain it. Amen. Yeah. If it was up to me, I wouldn't even do it that way, but it's working yeah. for yeah. my it's good. It's working for my good. Amen. Yeah. I'm just glad Hallelujah. that I'm still making it. Yes. Amen. That, right. My testimony today is that I'm still here. Yes. Amen. In spite of, in spite yes. of, in spite of everything that tried to hinder me, and throw me off course. Amen. I'm still here. I might not be what you think I ought to be. I might not look how you think I ought to look. I may not have done it like you thought I should do it, but I'm still here, and I'm glad that I made it. times along the way uh, we are we are tempted and and distracted and discouraged yeah. amen and it's so easy it's so easy to get thrown off yeah, yeah. amen yeah. there's so there's so many times and so many circumstances where it would be easy and and really if the truth be told we've already made up our mind mm -hmm. that we're going to quit that we're going to give up amen that we're going to throw in the towel pass it on let somebody else do it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let somebody else deal with it. Right. But in spite of it. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. In spite of what yeah. we've been through. In spite yes. of what we've done and what we didn't deserve and what we did deserve. Yes. 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 In spite of that. Amen. God keeps giving us one more day. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Just one more day. Yeah. Oh, and, and that day represents new opportunities. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Another chance. Thank you, Lord. Amen. A chance to straighten. It doesn't matter how bad yesterday was. Yeah. Amen. It doesn't matter what you went through yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Today is a clean slate. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. I don't care how sad you were. I don't care how depressed you were. I don't care how Hallelujah. bad it felt. I don't care how bad it hurt. Today is a new day. Yeah, don't don't you bring Hallelujah. yesterday into today. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 This is my chance to be better. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. This is my chance for more. Yep. Yep. Hallelujah. This is my day for greater. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is my moment for increase. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just glad I made it. Yeah. Amen. I'm just glad, I'm just glad Amen. I made it. Amen. I'm glad I made it. I, I could have got stuck in where I yeah. was. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But you don't know everything about where I was. Yeah. You don't know Not all of that, but I could have been stuck there. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But, but he's bringing me, yeah. he's bringing me yeah. into yeah. my night. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And now it's back. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Trying to go. Amen. We thank God for being here. It's good yeah. to be in the house of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Wow, what a great day it is. Amen. And Amen. God bless yes, God. all the men, men and women of God. Amen. God bless our apostle Connie K. Hill. Yes. Amen. Amen. As we celebrated her yes. on last night. Hallelujah. And we still celebrate her in mm -hmm. our hearts. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And to all the men and women Hallelujah. of God that served with us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And all the men and women of God in the body of Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. To yes. each and every yes. one of you. Yes. Amen. Lord Good morning, God. and God bless you. Amen. Uh, run with me to the first book of uh, First Samuel, the first chapter of First Samuel. Amen. The first chapter of First Samuel. Uh, get on over there with me. Amen. I want to deal with this. I don't. I don't have a lot of time, so I want. I want to get into this. Amen. And um, amen. And I want. I want to. Yeah. I want to walk. First chapter. First Samuel. First Samuel, first chapter, first verse. Mm -hmm. Well, we ain't going to start at the first verse, but we're going to get in there. Okay. Amen. I want to read real quick. Mm -hmm. Starting at the uh, 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 26th verse. <clears throat> 26 through the 28th verse. But then we're going to walk a little bit through the scriptures. You all got first Samuel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. First Samuel, first chapter. Uh, over at the 26th verse. And she said, oh my Lord. As thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here praying unto the Lord. For this child I pray, and the Lord hath given me my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshiped the Lord there. Yes. Amen. Uh, I want to go back and talk a little bit about the blessing
that you're willing to press for. Mm -hmm. The blessing that you're willing to press for. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody wants to be blessed. Yeah. Amen. 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 Unsaved people yeah. want to be blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Heathens uh -huh. want to be blessed. Amen. Thieves and liars yeah. want to be blessed. Yeah. Crooks and criminals mm -hmm. want to be blessed. Amen. Atheists yeah. want to be blessed. Sadists yeah. 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 want to be blessed. Yeah. Everybody wants a blessing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Nobody wants to miss out on the good part. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. A lot of times we don't want to do the working. Mm -hmm. Amen. We don't want to get in there and make it happen, but when the blessing comes, mm -hmm. uh, we want to get in there when it starts to rain. Right. Amen. Let some drops <laughs> now fall on me. Right. Amen. Even me, Lord. Yeah. I, I want the good stuff, and I don't want to miss out on it. Right. But but yeah. there's some good stuff in your life. Yeah. That's available to you. Mm -hmm. Somebody repeat after me. Say, it's available to me. It's available to me. There's some good stuff in your life that's available to you mm -hmm. that you won't get. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. That you won't get. And you won't get it because you're not willing to press for it. Mm -hmm. It's there. That's right. It's exactly, it's it's right there. Yeah. But I'm telling you that rather than press, mm -hmm. you'll quit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rather than rather than press, mm -hmm. you'll compromise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rather than rather than press, mm -hmm. you'll defer. Mm -hmm. And because of that, mm -hmm. there's some blessings mm -hmm. that are already available to you. What am I trying to say, baby? I'm trying to say you ain't waiting on God to do it. Right, right. That's real. Right. Hallelujah. He's already performed it. Yep, yep. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. But you won't enjoy it mm -hmm. because you'll give out before you get it. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a blessing that's worth pressing for. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I always talk about. Uh, people that have been married, thank God for the Nelsons, amen, celebrating uh, 22 years, 55 years, 54, amen, amen, 19 years of marriage, amen, let me give God a hand for that. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. And see, the thing is, is that every day that they've been married has been a blessing, amen, they never had hard times. They never went through anything in their marriage. Amen. I mean, from the day that they met and looked upon each other, amen, it's just been hallelujah, howdy, howdy, and never goodbye. I mean, I mean this, this is just a, from one dance to the next. Right? I hope you got some oil. <laughs> just, that's not realistic. Amen. That's not, and, and, and I don't know the years and the, and the breakdown of when there was trying times, but I'm just picking some numbers. Amen. But there's some things that happened in year three. And, and if they would have tapped out in year three, they would be forsaking year 19. Right. Amen. Well, Amen. come on. Wow. The, 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 the God was always going to bless. Yeah. Amen. Year 19. Right. Come on. He had already blessed yep. 19. Right. Right. Yes. But you hadn't seen 19 yet. Right. Right. But you were struggling in 7. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the devil is alive. Yes, he is. Thank you for that. Amen. Yes. I'm going to change the sermon if y'all enjoy it with me right there. Because cause he is out to discourage you in 7. Come on. Yeah. Because there's a 19 coming. Come on, wait. Yeah, and if he can get you to tap out at seven, you'll be saying, I never did get my 19. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord promised me he was going to give me a 19, but, but it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. It did work. Right. Right. You yeah. just quit working. Come on. In, in 19, in 19, you got to know that there's some things in 19 that's coming against your 50. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. That's real. Amen. That's, that's real. It's, already, it's already happening right now, trying to sabotage your 50. Amen. 
Because they don't want to see you celebrate 50. Right. Come on. Come on. They don't want you to know that 50. Who 50? Oh, no. no, you know, 50 is out there. Yes. 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 See, my times are in God's hands. Yes. Hallelujah. My times ain't Let's determined on oh, what nobody else say. Or no else say. It's in God's hands. Yes. My health is in his hands. My peace is in his yes. hands. My joy is in his hands. Yes. But where am I? Come on. Yes. My God. Amen. Right. 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 Am I there? Come on, amen. Do I trust him enough to put everything in Jesus? Hallelujah. See, there are going to be some things that come along. What year y'all on? 75 or how many? <laughs> oh, that, oh, oh, that was prophetic. <laughs> I, I didn't, I just, uh, the three. three the three. Woo! Y'all bet your organ ain't here today. Well, I just got right there. <laughs> there's, come on. Because cause, cause there's, there's sabotage. Yes, Lord. Yes. There's a lie. There's a lie out there that's in your three. You know how you look at somebody else that's in, in a place and you like on your way to the place that they're in? That's not my sermon, but I'm just preaching it. Amen. You know how somebody else is in the place that you're on your way to? And, and, and the lie says, I'll never get there. Amen. I'll never get there. But but why what what the lie is? It's telling you mm -hmm. you won't get there because of what you got to go through. Right. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's not that there is impossible, right? Because if there was impossible, they wouldn't be there. Right. right. That's good. Right. So if they got there, you yeah. can get there. Yeah. Right. The thing is, is that you're looking at what it takes mm -hmm. to get there, Amen. and and your faith has quit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Your faith, your faith said, uh-uh. Yeah. yeah. I'm not willing to go through right. what it takes to get me there. Mm -hmm. So I'll quit there before I ever get there. Right. What faith does, what faith does is souls into your there. Yes. Jesus. All right. Yes. All right. Hallelujah. Y'all gonna make me change the whole sermon. Yeah. Amen. I, I'm, I'm going to stay with God too. Faith, 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 faith makes you so into your there yes. when you're not there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. That's true. All right. That's true. Okay. That's faith true. is the substance yes, it is. of things yes. hoped yes. for. Yeah. Faith, faith is the substance it is. It is. of things over there. Yeah. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. When you're not there. Right. Amen. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. That's good. It's, it's easy. Yeah. But what the scriptures say, what a man see. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He no longer hope for it. Yeah. It's easy. Come on. I can walk in my now because I'm in it now and I'm blessed now and I'm living my now yeah. now. Yeah. Right. But, right. but when I don't see it, Come on. I have to by faith hey. wait yeah. for yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Yep, yeah, y'all successfully oh, changed. Oh, oh, Amen. I, I, we want to preach it, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got, I've got, I've got to know that there is there before I get there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then by faith, what I'm holding on to yeah. is not there, mm -hmm. but I'm holding on to faith. Yes. 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 I, I don't know enough about that. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember a hundred years ago when you was in the hospital mm -hmm. and they and they was telling you all kinds of stuff <laughs> about how you weren't gonna even live to be here. Right, right. Yeah. They was talking about the child that you was never gonna have. Right, right. They yeah. were talking about the life yeah, that was never gonna have. They were talking about how your immune system was gonna shut down. They were gonna talk about how you couldn't walk. Mm -hmm. they, they they said a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. Into your then, right? Yeah. That has nothing to do with your now. Right. 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 And it's only now that you realize that they were lying then. That's right. That's right. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes. If you would have listened to them then, mm -hmm. what you would have done is believed a lie. Amen. <laughs> and and the lie that you would have believed. Would have forsaken your now. Yes. 
Yeah. 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 This might take me till Tuesday <laughs> to get all this out. Y'all ain't busy today, are you? <laughs> Amen. This, well, if you if you believe what somebody spoken to you, then you'll never get to hear. Wow. And if you believe what wow. I hear, you'll never get to there. All right. All right. That's right. All right. Sometimes, sometimes the best life <laughs> in your life. It's you. Jesus. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. That's it, right? Yeah, that's the truth. I, I, I'm sorry. So sometimes the one that 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 that's put the most in you mm -hmm. against you mm -hmm. is you. Amen. You believe your own self. Yeah. You tell your own self, I can't. Yeah. Amen. And you believe yeah. it. Yeah. And you're right. You're right, because you can't, as long as you believe you can't. And so you keep telling yourself that you can't, and you're right. You're more of a prophet than you thought. You spoke that thing over yourself, and that prophecy came to pass. You a real prophet. What you say happened. You say you can't, and you couldn't. I perceive that thou art the woman of God. Girl, 20 years ago, she said she wasn't going to be nothing. I know. And see what God did? Exactly what she said. I remember when you were talking about your husband, and you said he wasn't going to never be nothing either. And you was right. You spoke that thing. My God. You said these kids ain't gonna never change. And look. Didn't know that you were such a good prophet, did you? <laughs> Whew, well, I'm out here. So, so look, so look. Satan uh -huh. called him by his ugly name. Uh-huh. That's right. Satan has no authority right. over the life of the believer. Amen. 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 Thank you for those amens. Because y'all almost made me change my sermon a third time. <laughs> he, has, he has zero authority over the life of the believer. Watch this. Stay with me. Or their household. Amen. 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 See, if you understand he can't run you, mm -hmm. then you should understand he can't run your household. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. In many cases, we have given him the hand yeah. mm -hmm. concerning our, our lives, yeah. mm -hmm. but we have not given him the hand over our household. Right. 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 Instead, what we did is gave him authority. My God. Mm -hmm. Even worse. My God. Over our household. The devil got two kids. My God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the devil got my parents. <clears throat> Don't talk about me now. <clears throat> yeah, they just in the world. Because we don't even, we so contaminated, we don't even know how to speak faith language anymore. Because <clears throat> we're conditioned to believe the lie. The lie. Mm -hmm. When the scripture said, yeah. let, the, let the weak say, I am. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. But then we, we, we start reasoning. Mm -hmm. Why would I say I'm strong? Why would I say that when I don't really feel strong? I just, I just know that right now I'm going through something and I'm really weak mm -hmm. and I, I'm tired and I don't know. I don't feel strong. I need the saints to pray for me. So I'll get strong again. Cause when, and then when I get strong like that, then I'll, I'll start saying it because I don't feel right uh, professing those things when I know that's not where I'm at in the Lord. That's my truth. Yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm uh, I'm fast and pray a little bit more until the Lord do it in me. And then once he do it in me, once he do, once he, once he do it in me, then, then I'll, I'll, I'll walk in there. Y'all just be, y'all just keep me on the altar because, you know. <laughs> uh, yes. 
That's my truth, Karen. <laughs> that, that, that's your truth. <laughs> your truth be lying. Because <laughs> okay. what, what is it trying to do? It's trying to make you comfortable where you are. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. And so, and so that you will accept the lie rather than that, rather than press. Mm -hmm. right. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You'll accept the lie because yeah. the lie is easier than the pressing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So then, then so then you'll just you will make all those excuses for why you are where you are. Mm -hmm. Right. Rather than recognize that where you are is not where you're willing to be. Yeah. Right. And get your yeah. end up and go right. to another place yeah. where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what it is that's hindering you or how many times you slip or how many times you stumble right. or how many times you fall that's or right. how many times you fail or how many times you give out or how many times yeah. you give up or how many people is in your way or yeah. how many people don't believe in you or how hard it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just get up and get to getting where you got to get. Right, right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. It's that we don't want to go through the pressing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. It's that we don't want to deal with the process mm -hmm. and what's necessary right. for me to get there. Right, right. right. Come on. Yeah. I remember in the business world, uh, we were in a, a training thing, mm -hmm. and, and these guys that are making millions of dollars, mm -hmm. millions of dollars, mm -hmm. They said, you want to know what it takes mm -hmm. to make millions of dollars? And everybody was like, yes! <laughs> yes! And they said, you want to be in business like me? You want to do good? Yes! Hallelujah! Yes, we want it. Tell me, tell me the secret. I said, I'm going to tell you what I do every day <laughs> so that you can be a millionaire. And if you do this, you'll be a millionaire too. And you know what's wrong? What's wrong is they can tell you the secret. Mm -hmm. They can tell you step by step mm -hmm. what it is to do. They can tell you exactly what it takes to get there. Yep. Because they ain't worried about you beating them because you ain't going to do it. Well, the problem is, is that even if they give you the exact recipe, mm -hmm. you're not going to go through the process right. that it takes. Right. I saw this guy the other day. We went to the, uh, a lot of water. And the guy had all of that muscle. You remember that guy was there with the, I mean, the dude was. <laughs> and then you saw him, you know. <laughs> I mean, I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> you understand? I mean, dude had muscle like he didn't have to flex. Like when he was relaxing, he was flexing. <laughs> you know what I mean? The joke was just, you know. His arm. Then he reached out and grabbed the man. I'm like, no, she did. Yes, no, she did. did. Yes, he did. Let's grab them. I said, <laughs> I mean, you know, I said that woman gonna get you. You grab it on my man. He said, Ooh, look at that. Look at the man. Leave that man alone. <laughs> but I understand. I, I, I'm not judging her because I almost grabbed the man too. <laughs> takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, when I look at myself in the mirror, <laughs> why y'all laughing? We don't know what you're say. <laughs> That's why, why I didn't want y'all laughing before I said it. When I look at myself in the mirror, I say, boy, I wish I looked like that, boy. Well, I, am weak. I, am weak. I mean, that joker was, you know what I'm saying? And then the Lord, and then the Lord speaks to me. <laughs> it's the Lord. It's the Lord is speaking to me. He said, "This is what you got to do. You got to do this many hundred push-ups. You got to do this many hundred curls. You got to do this many. You got to run this many laps. You got to. You got to do these twists. And you got to do these squats. And you got to do this many burpees. And you got to do this. And then you got to do another set. And then you got to do. And I was like, Whew. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm not. I'm not willing to do what he did to get what he got." It's available. Yeah, yeah. I have the ability to have it, but I'm not willing to do what it takes to get it. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. And what I want God to do is help me to get it without having to go through to get it to That's get it. it right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Come That's on, it right there. Right. Yeah. And, and and there's some things in my life that are available to me mm -hmm. that I just won't get Amen. without the present. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hannah was in an uncomfortable Amen. situation. I'm back to Samuel. Hannah was in an uncomfortable situation. 
First of all, she was married to a man that had two wives. Mm -hmm. The theologians will explain that to you later. That's above my pay grade um, of understanding. But the fact of the matter is that she was married to a man, and the man had two wives. Mm -hmm. One of his wives' name was Penina. Mm -hmm. All right? And, 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 and the other one was Hannah, who we're talking about. Now, now the man would go up and every year, it says in the third verse, and this man went out, up out of the city to worship and sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And, and, and when he went to go to worship, he would come back and he would give his portion uh, to his wife, Penina, and to her sons, and to her daughters. Interpretation of terms. <laughs> Old Testament woman. Mm -hmm. Blessed means I have children. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wealth, blessing, prosperity mm -hmm. is tied directly mm -hmm. to whether or not she was able to be fruitful mm -hmm. and multiply. Mm -hmm. The opposite of blessings is I say it again, the opposite of blessings is curse. And so if you don't have mm -hmm. children, then that means that you are not blessed, but you are cursed. At least that's what we all think. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Is that good teaching, Apostle? Am I in order? Yeah. My, my apologetics are okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And so the, the belief system is, is because I have all of these children, I'm blessed. The, the, the husband who got the two wives, but only one of them got all the children. The belief system is he loves me because I gave him all the children. That's the one he loves. But the husband said, in here, the husband said, I love you, Hannah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the eighth verse, uh, uh, I don't want, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Uh, the fifth verse, he said, but unto Hannah he gave a worthy <laughs> portion, for he loved Hannah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Lord had shut up her womb. I think I could preach a whole revival on this one verse. <laughs> Y'all got that fifth verse? Mm -hmm. It said, but unto, unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion. For he loved Hannah. He, he the husband, mm -hmm. loved Hannah. But mm -hmm. the Lord had shut up her womb. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. No, no, the Lord didn't say that. Uh huh. That's why I told you I had to walk through this. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all reading it? Mm -hmm. What does it say? Fifth verse. Okay. Say it a little bit louder. Okay, verse Hannah, he gave a double portion because he loved her. He gave Hannah more. Because he loved him. Uh-huh. Keep going. So the Lord had closed her womb. It says, though? No, yeah. Though the Lord had closed her womb. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, question. Somebody <coughs> is smarter than me. Explain this. Cece, tell me this. You smarter than me. Uh, tell me this. Does the Lord change? Never. Huh? Deeper, deeper question. Has the Lord ever changed? Never. No. Never. If he closed a door, if he ever closes a door, can any man open it? No. 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 If he opens a door, can any man close it? Nah? Oh. If he join 
Someone together. <laughs> Can any man put it asunder? No. no. Mm. You all are smart. You all are smart. That's why I listen to y'all, because you all are smart. And, and so, this here scripture said, he gave Hannah a double portion, a worthy portion, because he loved Hannah, the boy did. But the Lord had shut up her womb. If the Lord shut up her womb, would it ever open? If the Lord shut it, would he open it? I know what y'all thinking, but I want y'all to think deep. I'm acting like I'm in the theory class tonight. If the Lord did it, would he undo it? If he wanted. We know he's sovereign. Mm -hmm. But let's look at his character. If, if the Lord condemns someone, will he uncondemn them? No. no. It's oh, absolutely. good. Well, see, we're going to be here. We're going to be here and walk. I might take a little Sunday school today, CC. The old the Lord does change. He can do whatever he wants to do. When did he? When when he, did he change his mind? That's what I want y'all to look at the Sunday school we're gonna talk about. I ain't, I ain't got time for that now, but just just know it's coming up in the Sunday school. When did, when does he change? If you're online, I know that's what it said. I heard it when he said it. Change his mind about I said it's going to be in the Sunday school. You know what I'm saying? Write it down. Put it in the chat. Do whatever you're going to do. We're going to talk about it in the Sunday. And now I got y'all awake. All right, so here's the thing. If God shut up her womb, mm -hmm. it's shut. Amen. If God curses it, it's cursed. Mm -hmm. God is not funny acting. God is not fickle. When he do stuff, he do stuff and it's done, done. Yeah, it is. That's why, it, it, that's why if you can understand that when he do bad stuff and it's done bad, bad, and it's done, done, then you can understand when he does good stuff that is done good and it's good, good, done. That's why you know that you saved and you saved, saved. And that your salvation ain't going to break. Because he ain't gonna change. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If he changed, then he might change his mind on that. I'm preaching better than y'all acting. Because we in the theory class today. All the deep folks, tune in, share this with all the deep folks. Amen. So they can ju jump in on this. The, the sixth verse said, Amen. Amen. And her adversary uh -huh, also provoked her sore. For to make her fret because the Lord had shut up her womb as he did so year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord she, she, so she provoked her therefore she wept and did not eat the provocation of your enemy your adversary mm -hmm. that negative voice them yeah. it sometimes keeps you believing the lie that prevents you from walking in the blessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. It's a fact that she did not have children. Amen. It's a matter of fact. We can look and see that she did not have children. Mm -hmm. It's a lie that she could not have children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. She had been yeah. believing yeah. For years that she could not have children. It's a matter of fact that she could. How do you know that she could? Because she did. And if she couldn't, she wouldn't. But she did. All right. I, I'm going to stay right here. 
It was a lie. It was a lie. It was a lie. Amen. That the Lord prevented her from having children. Because if the, if the Lord, if the Lord just, okay, why? Why? Why didn't the Lord like her? Why, why the Lord won't punish her? What did she do? Why, why does, why did the Lord pick on her? And, and say, that all these other women that don't pray, that don't worship, that don't serve me. They can have bunches of kids. Good ones, bad ones, fat ones, tall ones, all kinds of kids. And be blessed. But not you, woman of God. Because I have prevented you from being blessed. Why? 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 Why is God like that? Why is he, why is he so mean? Why is he so funny? Why don't he like you? Why, why has he chosen you to be the only one that can't get it? Then other people get it. Just you. Why are you the only one that go through stuff like this? Everybody else be blessed. I'm still preaching better than y'all like you see, how, see, what's, see what's wrong with our program? See how we condition to believe the lie? We, we even, we're even right now, while I'm doing all this good preaching, right now we're trying to sort out some things in our life. We have left Hannah. And we examine it ourselves and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Why is that? Because there's some things that we have accepted about our life that was never designed to be who we are. Amen. There's some people, yeah. there, there's some people that are teenage mothers and they say that like that's a curse word. Yeah. They say, they say, oh, she's a teen mother. Everybody says, oh, too bad. Why? Oh, oh, she had a child out of wedlock. Oh. You know what I'm trying to say? Like they're preaching your funeral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Why? What does that mean that it's over for me? Because there's so many women who have been in that same situation but have prospered yeah. and, and, and done exceedingly and abundantly above and beyond. So, so why? Why just because of their circumstance did we decide that they're cursed? We're only talking about where they were. It's no different talking about her where she was than talking about you where you were. When you were there, they said what it would be. But that little peanut head boy running around here is evidence. That's right. The, watch this, this, and this is how God does it. Because I, I can't let y'all sit on me where I'm at right here. Because I understand you sitting in your spirit. Amen. <laughs> this is how God does it. The, the circumstances are worse now to support the blessing than it was then. Mm -hmm. My God. But God performed it now when it didn't happen then. Even though the circumstances were better then. Than they are now. I was stronger then, but he's still strong. My God. Amen. 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 I had more on the ball then, but he still has everything in his hands. Amen. So, so what it takes for him to do what he wants to do never changed. Amen. What changed is me. Hannah had been a victim. And 
this is the reason why this is the reason why you got to be careful who you listen to. Yes. Amen. 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 Hannah had been a victim of this woman <laughs> every day, every year, flouncing her children around. <laughs> and, and dancing. I, I, I wish I had some women at church today. Because the women, if the women were at church today, they, they would explain to you that they ain't figured out the two wives thing yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> if it was some women that was here. <laughs> and, and, and then once they got into it, they, they would break that down for you. They would explain to you how they would feel. Right. Yeah. Uh, just knowing that their husband was in there with her. But not only do I know he was in there with her, but stuff came out of there. <laughs> oh my God. That reminds me every day of how many times he's been in there with her. And even though my husband is telling me that he loves me, I keep seeing the evidence that she's the one that's blessed. So Hannah cried. She cried. And in the eighth verse, her husband said, Woman? He said, Hannah. He said, Hannah. Why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am I not better to thee than ten sons? Watch this. I'm really having a good time. Watch this. Her husband loved her more than he loved tonight. He said it. He said it and then he showed it. Because he even blessed her more than he blessed Penina, even though Penina had the sons and the daughters. But he gave her the extra blessing. Because I'm showing you that I love you more. I'm telling you that I love you more. And I'm right here with you. And I want to know why it is that my love is not more important to you than sons. <coughs> Interpretation of tongue. All right. I'm here with you right now and I'm trying to figure out why it is that my love for you is not worth more than blessings. What the husband was struggling with while his <laughs> wife was going through what she was going through, the husband was trying to figure out why am I not enough? The husband was trying to figure out why he was not enough from the wife who was feeling like she wasn't enough. So the wife was crying because she wasn't enough and the husband was frustrated yeah. trying to figure out why he's not enough for the wife to be happy. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I wonder sometime when I get back, I wonder sometime if God is looking at us mm -hmm. while we're crying mm -hmm. over blessings mm -hmm. and I wonder if sometime he's not asking, am I not worth more? Than what you crying for? Amen. Am I not more to you than ten blessings? Amen. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. why can't I be blessed like my people? Mm -hmm. And the Lord is saying, "Hey, you blessed? Amen. Look, I'm here." Yeah, yeah, but I ain't got this. <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
I, I bet you if you took a test, I bet you if you took a test, most of us can't pray without asking God for something. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, that's just how sick and twisted we are right now. I mean, so get on the altar. Now, we, we got to be even with in our most lathered up this prayer. When we really in the spirit, somewhere in that prayer, you're going to ask God to do something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Go over there, Lord. Fix this, Lord. Yeah. You don't even remember. You don't even remember. You don't even remember the last time that you just had a time with the Lord and it was all about him. And that was enough. Yeah, when you just say it, when you just say, God, you are enough. When that was your whole prayer. God, you already done enough. God, you've already been good. God, I thank you for how you made a way. And I thank you for how you blessed me. And I thank you for how you kept me. And I thank you for how you love me. And I, and I, and amen. Amen. Something in us automatically snatches us into do it for me, Lord. Because no matter how much we're already blessed, we're looking for more blessings than we are him. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Here this man is saying, I'm demonstrating, I'm showing you that you're number one in my life. And what you're saying is, you're, what you are is not enough. Give me the blessing. The woman kept on crying. She said, I'm not judging Hannah, I'm just telling you where she was. Amen. The woman kept on crying until the point that she went up before the priest. And the priest said, now how long are you going to keep on drinking? <laughs> it's a shame you just, it's early in the morning and you drunk. You just, you just drunk. That's, that's terrible. And Hannah said, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I've been, I've been praying for the Lord to bless me. Even though she was already blessed. I've been praying for the Lord to bless me. Amen. The people that have really studied you Bible pumpers, you know that she was talking to a bachelor priest. Isn't it amazing, isn't it amazing that, that even though he was in a backslidden state and house, household was out of control, amen, God was still using him? Y'all yeah. don't want that part. Okay. <laughs> She's talking to the backslidden priest, saying, oh, this is what my problem is. I've just been praying that the Lord will bless me with a son so that my husband can love me. And Eli said in the 17th verse, go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. I know what it is because Eli was full of the Holy Ghost. No? Uh, Eli spoke in tongues. Eli was a prophet. Eli was a powerful man of God. He changed her. He, when he spoke over her life, no. he touched her womb. No. And it opened up. He said here, he said, go in peace and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. 18. And she said, 
Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. Her countenance was no more sad. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. The 19th verse, and they, and they rose up in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody call it. <laughs> Somebody call it. And they rose up in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord and returned and came to their house to Ramah and Elkanah knew his wife. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And the Lord remembered her. Mm -hmm. Wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son and called his name Samuel saying because I have asked him of the Lord. All of the time that she was crying, one thing she had not done, ask the Lord. She blamed the Lord, but she never asked the Lord. It's in here. Just read it again. She, she blamed. It was the Lord's fault that she was in this condition because the Lord had shut up her womb. But then she went to the man of God. When she went to the man of God, what's wrong? You, I ain't drunk. I just want a sign. I come the Lord won't bless me. And the man of God will say, go. Go on, girl. The Lord going to do what, what you ask. Yeah. You mean tell me all I had to do all this time? Yeah. And then when she asked of the Lord, then she went back and then they woke up and worshiped. An amazing thing happened when they went into worship. <laughs> the Lord came upon her. <laughs> I ain't fooling with y'all. I ain't fooling with y'all. <laughs> and she conceived and bare a son. Because she asked the Lord. All of the time she had been going through, all of the time of disbelief, all of the time of... of of being uh, picked on and talked about and, and lied on mm -hmm. and all of that stuff like that. It's a whole lot of that could have been avoided if she would have just trusted God enough to seek him right. for what she was asking Amen. for. Amen. 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 What, what, everything that we didn't talk about, Carolyn, we didn't go back and say uh, when she went back after talking to the priest that her husband loved her. That was never on the table. That was never the problem. We didn't say, now he finally went back and, and worshipped. They had been worshipping. That's why she thought her stuff was shut up. All of the things was the same, except for what happened in her when she finally asked God for what she was crying about. There are some things in your life that you want God to do that he will sit there and wait for you to ask for. And the reason why you don't have it is because you are not willing to ask for it or to press into it. Interpretation of tongues. You have not because you ask not and when you ask, you ask them this. Now, it, it, it's been there before you. But the thing is that you're not willing to go through what it takes to get what you need to get to get it done, what it needs to get done. Amen. You just rather complain. Right. Yeah. It's, it's been available. Mm -hmm. If you ever ask God to come, if you ever ask God to come, then, then, then you're missing the whole thing. Lord, Lord, come. Come see about me. Come heal me. 
Come touch him. Any, any time that you ask God to come, you're missing it because you would have to know that he's already there. Amen. And, 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 and the fact that you're asking him to come mm -hmm. is, is saying that in your heart you feel like he's not. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel like he's not. So you're trying to get past the point. You're trying to get his attention. Mm -hmm. And he's already present. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Yeah, he is a very present, present help. Yeah, he is no, he won't ever leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, he's everywhere. And we believe he's everywhere except for where we need him to be. Amen. And so therefore, we, we feel like because God is not with us, mm -hmm. then we can't get what God wants. Amen. Or what we want. Amen. Are y'all still here? Amen. We try, we're trying to convince God to uncurse us Amen. so we can receive the blessing. I'm going to just seek the Lord until, until I get good enough to be blessed. Because we perceive that it's because of our in-goodness that it has, we haven't been blessed. Amen. And God is punishing us. And I'm in fact cursed and my womb in the natural or the spiritual or the figurative is shut up. That's why my business won't prosper. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's why I can't never get no money. That's why and you pick the thing. That's why things always go wrong. And if I could just, I just want to, I want to earn God's favor so I can be blessed. Ain't it the truth? Amen. And, the tr and the truth of the matter is, God has already blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Faith, faith is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Faith won't be. That's right. That's faith right. is. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, he already is. Yeah. Yeah. What he, he, he God ain't, God ain't say, I will be what I will be. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. He said, I am. Mm -hmm. That I am, right? Yeah. He didn't say I'm gone. Right. So, so he already is what needs to happen. Amen. Amen. It's already there. It's already available. What's missing? Where are we? Right, right. That's right. Are we in faith or are we in condemnation? Are we judging our own self? Have we dismissed our own self? I wish it was one person here that was honest enough to admit that there's some blessings that we don't even think we deserve. Amen. And because we don't think we deserve them, we don't even ask for them. I, it'd be nice to have that, but you know that's for the good people. Amen. It's amazing that after she had the baby and she got the baby weaned and, and got him ready. Amen. And once she got her mind right, mm -hmm. what she said was, I recognize, amen, that I made a, a vow to the Lord. And the vow I made to the Lord is that if he would bless me, that I would give the blessing back to him. Yeah. Amen. 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 Now, 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 tell your secret. Tell your secret. God don't need our blessing. Amen. Amen. If God got the son, he don't need you to have a son so you can give the son back to him. Because he already got the son. That's right. If God has got the blessing, he don't need you to get the blessing so you can give the blessing back to him because he's already got the blessing. Amen. The, thing that, the thing that he wants you to do is experience the blessing. Amen. So he gives you the blessing so you can experience the blessing. But in the experience of the blessing, what he really wants you to do is recognize that the blessing is not more than the blessor. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. And so when you get it, he'll, he'll say, I can bless you when, when you worship me and not the blessing. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. When, when your joy is in me and not the blessing. Right. When, the, when your, your happiness is not found in what you have, but right. it's in having me. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been trying to demonstrate that for you in your husband who says, I'm here. And you say, you're not enough. But then when she got her mind right, what God said, now that your mind is right, now that you get into a place of worship and you get it, you say, if you bless me, I just give it back to you. It's no problem, God. Well, then I'm glad to bless you. I'll bless you because I know you're going to give it back to me. You ain't going to fall in love with the blessing and abandon me. Right. Amen. Now, she, she blessed him. And then when, when, the, when the son got of age, she took him back and she gave him to the Lord because that was what was promised that she would do. But what, what happened to her husband? She still had the same husband. She still had the same blessing. He was already more to her than ten sons. She had to, she had to recognize that her relationship with the Lord was more important than the blessing. So what she had to press into was the relationship with the Lord. Amen. And then when you press into the relationship with the Lord, blessings come. Amen. You, you stop being surprised by blessings. Because blessing is what we do every day. Amen. But when we're consumed with stuff, yes. we miss the blessing that's right there with us. Yes. There's a blessing in your life that's worth pressing. Yes. And it's not the stuff. Amen. Amen. It's the Lord. Yes. Amen. I don't know if this is the original interpretation of Scripture. Somebody smarter than me would have to break that down for you. But I can see this. I can see that, that Elkanah had never failed in his love toward him. There, there, there was no failure in his love toward her. Now, he, he loved her abundantly. And she was missing it. He was giving her double. And she was not enjoying it. He was doing everything that he needed to do so that she would know that she couldn't have kids. And that wasn't enough. And he was trying to convince her that he was enough. And she was trying to convince him <coughs> that he wasn't. Ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if we're spending a lot of energy trying to convince God that he's actually not enough in our life. I wonder if our heart is so focused on stuff that we've forgotten to worship him. That we've forgotten to say that if I never have a child, if I never have a job, if I never have a dollar, if I never, if I never get the blessings, you're enough. Amen. I just want you. And as long as I have you, then I'll be satisfied. Now, is, is there anywhere in your relationship with him that's not contingent upon what he can do, but just because he's enough? And, and, and he is standing in a place where every day he performs at a high level. Every day he does more than what you deserve. Every day he opens up doors and every day he protects you. And every day he provides for all of your needs. And every day he loves you and he gives you a double portion of a blessing that you don't deserve. And every day you come back to him and say, I need more. There's a place where, where you recognize that, that you're not enough and you begin to withdraw. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you withdraw until the person appreciates what they have. Right. Yeah. And they begin to recognize that the stuff wasn't more important 
in the person that was providing the stuff. Amen. 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 And their focus shifts from seeking stuff mm -hmm. to seeking the person. Mm -hmm. It don't matter if you don't do it. I just want you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It doesn't matter if you don't make a way. I just want you. If you give me the stuff, I'll just give it back to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever I receive is just an offering. Because nothing is worth more to me than you. Amen. I want to remind you to seek the Lord again. Let him be the blessing. And let the stuff mm -hmm. just be an offering. Mm -hmm. You'll find joy in him. Mm -hmm. You'll find peace in him. Yeah. Most importantly, you'll find love in him mm -hmm. when you learn to trust him. Give it all away and just take God bless you is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.